all right so we're going to be going through the f6 menu uh what you would do is just click f6 as you can see it just brings up this little menu right here on the bottom right of your screen uh here is where you're able to search suspects check their identification issue a weapons license revoke weapons license these two right here only show up for i believe sergeant and up so you can go ahead and ignore this soft handcuffs hard handcuffs Escort suspect, GSR test, place in vehicle, remove from vehicle, vehicle interactions, and place objects. Is all your options on the F6 menu. Um, so what we're going to go ahead and go through first is search suspect. Uh, what You'd go up to the suspect, say there's one right here in front of me. You'd go ahead and click enter, and you'd pop up their inventory. Remove any contraband, weapons, anything of that sort that needs to be removed. Go ahead, go back in. If you need to check their identification, you can see, whenever you click this and you're up at a person, you can go ahead and click it. And where, it's, where it says check nearby suspect's ID, whenever you're going over it, the name, it'll show the name, job, um, their date of birth, uh, if they have any licenses, etc. Um, so that is how you receive somebody's name. Soft cuffed and hard cuffed. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory. Soft cuffs is whenever you are able to walk around while being cuffed. Hard cuffs, they cannot move while being cuffed. We typically do not do soft cuffs unless the suspect is very compliant or if you're already in the PD and they're dealing with a lawyer scene uh, or something along those lines. Typically, it's always going to be hard cuff, and uh, that's I would keep it at that. Escorting the suspect. You will have to have the suspect handcuffed to do this. Whenever you have the suspect handcuffed, you would go ahead and go over to here to escort suspect. And you would be dragging him around. As, as you can see, I'm walking around. If there was a guy being escorted right now, he'd be in front of me. And for me to let go, I would press E. Uh, next up in line, GSR test. GSR testing is gunshot residue. Whenever somebody shoots within the last five minutes, and they can get tested positive for GSR. So if you were pulling up, sir, for example, you see that alert right above it's a 1054. If I were to attend to that, and I were to detain somebody, you can 100% get the confirmation that they shot within the last five minutes by GSR testing them. Um, and of course, if they haven't, they would test negative. Next up is place in and remove from vehicle. Pretty self-explanatory. Say you have somebody buy this little vehicle right here, this uh, Mustang. I would go ahead and click place in vehicle. And the same goes for remove from vehicle. You would go towards the vehicle. You can either be on the driver or passenger side. Sometimes it has to be side specific. If it doesn't work on one side, try the other. Click remove from vehicle and they'll be removed. Vehicle interactions. With vehicle interactions, you will be able to see the information of the vehicle, impounded, etc. So, for example, if I click vehicle information, it'll give me the plate number, Heat 618. And it's going to say caution because technically this vehicle is owned by the police department and is not in my possession. It's going to say vehicle possibly stolen. If this vehicle were to be under my possession, it would say my name right here where it says vehicle possibly stolen. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go back. You can also lockpick vehicles. Say you're arresting somebody and their vehicle is part of the scene and it's locked you are able to lock pick the vehicle to search it um to seize it and to impound it so what i'm going to do is go ahead and lock pick it right here this is the process and what i suggest is going to the trunk first because you may have to lock if you go straight to the driver's seat and open up the glove box and then get out you'll have to lockpick again so what i suggest is going to the trunk first clicking up open storage they may have stuff in here they may not go over here to the driver's side you won't have to lockpick it again press f2 to open the glove box they may have stuff in here they may not if not this vehicle is part of a scene you can either do the f6 vehicle interactions and impound if you do this you do not have a set time and it will just do it but what I suggest if they are part of a scene, and for example, if they kill cops, um, etc., what I would do is go ahead and do T slash impound. And from here, you can select the time. So, for example, if it's a cop killer, do 24 hours. 
um if they combat log do 24 hours obviously be pretty lenient as well don't just give them 24 just for it the hell of it um you know give the reason say like Yeah, so like give the reasoning and shit, um, and then go ahead and impound. As you can see, the vehicle got impounded. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much, I believe, majority of the XX menu. There is also place objects, um, which I will be going over here as well. So this will be barriers, barricades, traffic cones, and spike strips. All of these are used upon sur supervisor approval. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you each of these barriers are these right here little wooden do not cross signs uh, to delete the object you'd press G to move it you'd press E and you'd press E again to place the object as you can see I just moved it and that will be going the same for every object you press those uh, keys this is a barricade right here this is a traffic cone of course And last but not least, honestly the most used one, spike strips. What I do is I set the spike strip, go try to go in a straight line, you know, make it look clean. Um, and as I said, you cannot leave these, like you need supervisor approval for one, for the, to use any of this. Um, and for two, you cannot leave these objects on the ground for long, a long period of time, otherwise it'll be stuck on the ground. Um, as an object and you will not be able to delete it I believe you're able to move it but you are not able to delete it in that case um, so yeah honestly be super careful with what you're doing with those place objects always have supervisor approval um, and that's pretty much it for the F6 menu also I would like to mention um, a lot of this can be done through third eyeing a suspect, which I, I personally suggest the F6 menu is very handy, but I suggest doing the third eye. Say if there's a guy in front of me, you hold left out and you'd cover, hover the eye over them. You'd be able to search suspect, hard cuff, soft cuff, escort, place in vehicle, remove from vehicle. Um, there's many, many options and, um, Yeah. Honestly, I believe that's the majority. Also, if you press your F2 right now, for example, if I do it. As you can see, my handcuffs are in hotkey number three. My sniper is in hotkey four. My shotgun's in hotkey one at the top of the inventory. So if there is a guy in front of me and I press three, it will hard cuff them. I won't have to third eye or press the f6 like it'll it'll just hard cuff them for me same goes for the sniper if i want to pull out my sniper same for the radio if i want to open my radio without having to open the inventory and going over here to click use i can just press five and it pulls it out and same goes for the sniper as i said you press four you're going to be pulling out your sniper of course um so yeah that pretty much wraps up everything about f6 third eyeing and everything um you know any questions or anything go ahead and uh Ask a supervisor, man.